This brand new Node project launched 24 hours ago and raised $5 million from investors including the gaming giant Razer and aims to bring decentralized apps, games and DeFi to the Bitcoin chain. The team is fully doxxed and the token launches next month in October. Now, the biggest rule to earning the highest return on any of these crypto projects is to get in early so that you get a larger share of the rewards. And make sure you stay till the end of the video as I'll give you an exclusive invite code that you'll need if you want to purchase one. I'll show you how to set up the four nodes that I bought and to delegate them so you can start earning today. In this video, I'll go over what the project is and what it's trying to achieve. I'll run through the investors, the team, tokenomics and the roadmap. I'll go through the nodes, their function and how they earn. And lastly, I'll show you how to purchase a node and delegate them so that you can start earning immediately. Right, let's jump straight into this video. Let's head into the OXVM website so we can learn more about this project and what it's trying to achieve. And straight off the bat, we can see three key phrases that we need to bear in mind. So it's the fastest modular execution layer for Bitcoin. It's a verification layer for Bitcoin layer twos and it's a parallel EVM on Bitcoin. Let's take this first point about a modular execution layer for Bitcoin. Now, traditional blockchains like Bitcoin have four different functions for them to be successful. There's the execution, settlement, consensus, and data availability layer. In a traditional or monolithic chain, all four of these functions are handled by one network. Now that comes at some strengths, but the disadvantages mean that it is one engine powering four different layers of the project. And that can result in issues around scalability, security, speed, costs, etc. And so it's more beneficial actually to adopt something called a modular blockchain, which means that the four elements of a network can be split up between different blockchains. And this is what OXVM is trying to achieve. By relying on the consensus layer of Bitcoin, they can make use of Bitcoin's transparency and its security. But by building their own modular execution layer, they're allowing the ability to build a range of decentralized apps or smart contracts that can be deployed within the Bitcoin ecosystem. They're also wanting to be a verification layer for Bitcoin layer twos. Now, a layer two is a secondary protocol that's built upon a main blockchain. For example, the base protocol is a layer two of Ethereum. And the main reason behind layer twos is to address issues around scalability, improve speed and reduce some of the gas fees that we can see in layer one, especially with Bitcoin. And layer two solutions can either be state channels, side chains or rollups. All of these are designed to combat high fees, address the scalability issues and also allow the ability to deploy smart contracts. Now, there are some that already exist at the moment. In fact, the website lists some of the layer two solutions like Lightning Network and Liquid Network, but actually has a comparison with OXVM because this project operates within Bitcoin's consensus layer, which ensures a higher level of on-chain security. And just how Ethereum has EVM, which is the Ethereum virtual machine, this allows the deployment of smart contracts on Ethereum. OXVM is hoping to be the parallel EVM, but for Bitcoin, hence the name OXVM, very similar to EVM. And this smart contract capability is not only going to allow for DeFi and decentralized apps, but it's also going to open the market for memes and for gaming. And actually, they have already a game that they've launched called Scribbled, which is a game that you can play to earn already on the Telegram app. And we shouldn't look over the potential of Telegram games. You can see here Hamster Combat actually having over 60 million users in their base. This provides a huge opportunity because at the moment there is no opportunity to do that within the Bitcoin blockchain. And so this project is going to have three key components. The Bitcoin layer, which is leveraging Bitcoin's existing infrastructure, which makes sure that they're actually included in the Bitcoin ledger. The data consistency layer, which will ensure that all transactions are immutably logged on Bitcoin's own ledger. It has its own VM operations, so it can encode a virtual machine into Bitcoin's existing one. It has a gas fee based transaction ordering, and this is where the node holders are actually going to get an opportunity of a share in the gas fee. And it focuses on two of the main aspects of Bitcoin, its security and decentralization layer. I'll put a link in the description to the white paper, and they've also got a super detailed yellow paper, which is a deep dive into this project. I'll share those for you so you can have a deeper look later on. Let's jump into the next part of the video that's going to cover the investors, the team, tokenomics, and then we'll have a quick look at the roadmap. 
Now, one of the exciting things about this project are some of its tier one backers and the amount that they've been able to raise. You can go on the Crunchbase website, which is a public website listing the funding rounds, and they've raised over $5.2 million from a number of investors. And some of the lead investors include Razor, UOB Venture, and Signum Capital. And these are super well-known investors. I mean, Razor is probably the most popular one. And if you head into the Razor website, you can go to Z Ventures, which is the corporate venture arm of Razor, and you can see that they have have actually listed OXVM as one of the projects that they have invested in their portfolio. Now seeing the caliber of investors that we have shows that if they have done their due diligence, it's a good sign for the project. They also have a number of key partners that you can see on the screen and you can look into the benefits of those partners in your own time. One of the other things about this project is the team. They have a doxed founding member team. They've got Bjorn, I'm hoping I didn't mispronounce his name, and they've got KC. Now, not only are they publicly doxed, but they do have an incredible background that you can check out online. For example, you can see that one of the founders is available on Twitter and you can also find him on LinkedIn where his experience has been laid out. And this now is a new major checklist for me when I'm trying to invest in projects. A doxed team increases credibility in the project. Let's have a look at the roadmap. You can see that phase one was a release of the white paper and the prototype. Phase two was the release of the scribbled NFTs, which they have already launched, and the yellow paper. And we're currently sitting in stage three, which is actually the launch of the testnet and the sales of the nodes, which of course, I'll be showing you how to purchase and delegate in the next part of this video. And lastly, if we look at the tokenomics, you can see that they have a projected fully diluted valuation of 40 million, with 26% of the tokens being delegated for the mining that's going to come via the nodes. There's also 2.5% for the early access NFT. That's the Scribble NFT. And I'll put a link in the description to that if you want to get hold of one of those. Right, let's jump into the next part of the video. What are the OXVM nodes and how do they earn? So within the OXVM network, there are three types of nodes. The router node monitors the Bitcoin network. The operator node receives the instructions from the router node and the validator node, which is the ones that we can purchase, performs the function of upholding the integrity of the network. So what are the rewards for the node holders? So as I mentioned, 26% of the total token supply is allocated to node rewards. Currently, that's a daily distribution of 700,000 tokens every single day across the online nodes. So because we only have a thousand nodes online today, you are going to get the maximum return than if you were to invest, say, in five or 10 days time. That's why it pays to get in early. And after six months, this return is going to halve to 350,000 daily. Right, let's go to the last part of this video, walking you through how you can purchase one of these nodes. Notes. Step one is to click the link in the description that's going to take you to the node sale page. You're going to need a code. I'm going to flash that up on the screen. Without that code, you cannot purchase one of these nodes. You're going to want to connect a wallet. Now, a MetaMask wallet makes sense. You can see that there are only 1,224 nodes that have been sold. And, and so that total reward pool is going to be distributed by that number. If you buy tomorrow, that could be doubled. That means that the amount that you earn will be much less. The price is 700 USDT. You click on buy and you can purchase them on the Ethereum, Arbitrum or the BNB chain. Note that the Arbitrum and the BNB chain are going to be the cheapest ones for you in terms of gas fees. The referral code, which should already be entered if you click the link in the description, and then you're going to be paying in USDT. Remember, whichever chain you are paying in, make sure you have the native chain in that wallet so that you can pay for gas fees. In Ethereum, you'll need Ethereum. In Arbitrum, you'll need Ethereum, but on the Arbitrum network. And for BNB chain, you'll need a little bit of BNB inside that wallet to purchase. And all you have to do is choose the number of nodes that you're going to purchase, and then you simply click Approve USDT. You wait a few minutes, and that should show up in your dashboard. Let me show you how you can do that, because the next stage is you have to manually delegate them as soon as you get them. So as you can see, I've got four nodes that I've purchased, but they're not running at the moment. All I have to do is click Delegate, and I can confirm the delegation of those four nodes. Now, it's going to take a small amount of time for those nodes to come online, and they're going to automatically start validating the network and start earning you the X. VM token and we can see here how many tokens that we're going to earn. We can't withdraw the tokens just now. That's going to happen after TGE. But once that does happen, depending on the lockup period, that's how much you can withdraw. So it would make sense that when you want to withdraw that you lock them up for 30 days if you want the 100% of your withdrawals. Now, I wanted to share this project with you super early because the project has only just released. Let me know if you do end up buying one of these nodes. And if you like these types of projects, why not check this project out here? Right, that's it from me. I'll catch you in the next video.